certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got the clouds thickening up now and a little band of showers here to our west. Now, I think with time, we'll see just a few widely scattered showers, just a little patchy drizzle mixed in that. Arrive tonight, last into tomorrow and Thursday. The front is out here pretty close, but it's going to move kind of like this, and it's going to take a long time to get through here. So we're going to be bathed in a very mild, moist air mass here over the next few days. So what does that mean for you? Well, a lot of wind. Again, a few showers around, a little drizzle as well. And near record warm temperatures, especially on Thursday, no flooding expected through at least early next week. No sign of any big rain in the forecast, but we've got a long, mild, wet weather pattern for several weeks. And I think due to that, we may have to talk about some minor river flooding once we get into early March. But in the meantime, temperatures will fall quickly in the 30s this evening. There could be a patch or two of black ice here in the northeast, but then the temperature will rise overnight well above freezing. We'll be around 40 by tomorrow morning. Uh, and then we're headed for 50s tomorrow, about 50 to 55 degrees. But this temperature will occur very late in the day, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. And there'll be a fairly stiff wind out of the south and southwest. So with just a slight chill to the air, 50 Rochester, 53 Lafayette, 55 Petersburg. And then even better on Thursday, a lot of wind. Winds gusting perhaps up to 38 miles an hour. So very windy. Highs generally around 60 to as high as about 65 degrees in our south. 63 Lafayette. 61 Monticello, 62 Camden, and 61 at Kentland and Remington. Tonight, though, mostly cloudy skies. A few patches of drizzle, a couple light showers, a little fog in places, and mostly cloudy tomorrow, a little breezy. Perhaps a couple of showers around, a couple of showers around tomorrow night. Best chance of any what I call widespread scattered shower action late Thursday night, early Friday morning. There's Wednesday, 50s. 60s Thursday, just a couple showers around. Main area showers comes through late Thursday night, early Friday again. Temperatures falling after 57 in the morning will be about 52 by afternoon. Mostly sunny, windy, 45 Saturday. And then more rain beginning late Sunday evening and rain as we get into May. That could be pretty widespread rainfall, half to three quarters of an inch. But no need to worry about flooding. These are the rainfall totals tomorrow, right to Friday morning, a tenth to maybe 15 hundredths of an inch. 53 tomorrow night, 54 tomorrow night just means the temperature will rise through the night. 63 Thursday, and even after a cold front, we're still talking temperatures mid 40s on Saturday and Sunday, and after 55 on Monday, 47 Tuesday. So bottom line is no big cold snap.